And the countdown is on to Friday's grand opening of MGM's new casino just over the state line in Massachusetts. MGM is forecast to take a major chunk of gambling dollars away from Foxwoods and Mohegan Plus uh, revenue away from the state. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis just back from Springfield. Good evening, Mark. So tell us, how does it look? Well, it looks great. Hi, Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. The CEO up there uh, at the new casino in Springfield says that about 20% of his workforce comes from Connecticut. Now, that's the good part. But projections are that the job losses in southeastern Connecticut at our two current casinos will be severe, and the Mashantucket and, and uh, Mohegan Sun proposal to put together a casino to compete with all of this in East Windsor is still stalled. MGM has invested almost a billion dollars in an entire city block, repurposing several buildings that were devastated by a tornado here seven years ago. The casino floor with hundreds of electronic slot machines and table games is not as large as Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun, but it does have some of the amenities and a smaller scale. Like a 10-lane bowling alley attached to a huge sports bar and restaurant, with a heavy emphasis on basketball and the Boston Red Sox. There's also a high-end steakhouse, as well as other restaurants and cocktail lounges, and a luxury hotel ready for all the needs of any high rollers coming to Springfield. But make no mistake, a large portion of the target audience for this complex is central Connecticut, because it's much closer than going to Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun. Connecticut is one of our key markets. We're not just here for Springfield or the state of Massachusetts. We see ourselves as a regional destination. About a third of our customers we expect to come sort of north on the 91 um, from, um, from Connecticut. Meanwhile, the movie theater complex in East Windsor has been completely torn down, but there is still no work going on at the spot where 12 miles south, the Mashantuckets and Mohegans hope to build a casino to compete with MGM. It's still tied up in court and in Washington, although the tribes say they hope to break ground this fall. There's certainly an MGM opportunity in Connecticut, and, and there are folks on my team that are chasing that opportunity, which you I think... You mean Bridgeport? I mean Bridgeport. Yes, he does mean Bridgeport, and I'm sure if you were paying attention to the primary campaigns just concluded that the Bridgeport casino proposal by MGM is an issue in the governor's race. And MGM's lobbyist at the state capitol this past legislative session suggested that because of its proximity to New York, that a Bridgeport casino could potentially bring more revenue to the state than the current arrangement with the two Indian tribes. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, Museum.